Hello, I'm going to show you how to um, pretty much start to fill out your research seat, sheet and um, stay organized while researching your endangered animal species. So when it's time, you will find your endangered animal research assignment on Google Classroom. I find it right here. I'm going to click view assignment, click on it. And there's a couple of things I wanted to point out at the top of the page of your research sheet. You'll see three websites right here underlined in blue. Those are the three websites you may go on today. Um, you've got some general information that you need to fill out about your animal species, like its name, its scientific name, its conservation status and so on. We go down. You are going to have to find a picture or pictures of your animal species. A physical description, which you can describe what the animal looks like. Um, some information about food, and you do have to create a simple food chain or food web. You can do that by dragging or copying and pasting pictures and arrows here. And then we've got some information about threats, like why is your animal endangered, and conservation, and just some other facts. So you kind of got a lot of stuff going on here. Um, and you do not have to answer the questions in any specific order. But first things first, what I would do is open up each of these websites in its own tab. So here's the IUCN Red List. Um, you may open up Wikipedia. And lastly, you may open up the World Wildlife Foundation website. This is the website that you actually chose your animal from. So that might already be open on your computer um, by the time you get to this. I come back onto the Google Doc and I've got to write down the name of my endangered species and its scientific name, which is usually some sort of Latin, long Latin name. So first, I'm going to research the pangolin. And I happen to notice that when I search for the pangolin, there are a lot of different species of pangolins. I want to do the one honey bun was a Temenix pangolin, also known as a ground pangolin. I'm going to click on that. And I am going to go ahead and put that name into my Google Doc for my name of my endangered species. I know this is going to come up really big. <laughs> oh, that doesn't work. So I'm going to go ahead and I think I will try to split my screen so I can see the name of this pangolin while I type it in over here. The scientific name is, you're going to find that on the IUCN red list right underneath the common name for your animal. It's going to be some weird long name. It's Latin. Um, in this case, for this pangolin, it's Smoopsia temeniki. So I'm going to write that down for the scientific name. And a conservation status, I'm going to pull this back over here and make it full screen so I can see it better. I can see right here that it's highlighted as being vulnerable. I'm going to go back in my Google Doc and write that it's vulnerable. I wanted to point out some other things to you um, on the IUCN Red List. You can find the population trend right here. It says population trend and it tells me that it's decreasing. So the population is getting smaller. That is information um, that you're going to have to put on your research sheet. I also can see the habitat that the pangolin, this pangolin lives in the forest, savanna, and grassland. So I can come down into population trend right here. I can say it's decreasing. And I know that the, I think this was, the habitat was grassland, forest, and savanna, which I think lions live in the savanna. So I just wanted to point that out. You would finish all of this on your own. I'm not going to make this any longer than it needs to be, but you're going to be going back and forth between these websites and your Google Doc. And you will have more than one day to do your research. So take your time and be patient. Um, one last thing, I wanted to point out that like on Wikipedia, when you go on there, you'll notice that 
um, there are different categories. Um, actually, we want to put in the 10 minutes. I'm going to put in ground pangolin. That's easier to remember than Temenix pangolin. It's the same thing. Um, if you look at your contents, like you get a physical description, ooh, the diet, I would go there to figure out what kind of food the pangolin eats, which I happen to remember is mainly ants. You get an image gallery. Um, this tells you the locations they're found in. So um, you get a whole bunch of conservation information and threats to the species. So you get a whole bunch of information on here as well. So good luck. Have fun doing your research.